Hello everybody, I'm Melissa and welcome back to Book Bar and welcome to a KU check-in. Um, I will be doing my KU check-ins a little differently from now on. So I'm not going to talk about the books that I read on KU since I filmed my last one, which was I think in like February. So, uh, but from now on, I will actually probably do like a chair ranking of the books that I read on KU starting today. So any book that I read, I will do like, a, I'll write it down and I'll do a tier ranking of where I think it would fall, how I feel about it, you know, all different stuff. So my K book check-ins might be a little bit longer, who knows, uh, but yeah, we're just going to get on into it. This probably won't be a very long video, it'll probably be pretty short because I'm not going to read definite the descriptions of the books, I'm just going to talk about them. So we're going to start off with the book that, so I have 20 checkouts but only 19 of them are currently mine. Uh, I have decided my mom has gotten way into reading and like reading like a machine. And uh, she, I like can't keep up with the amount of books for that I have like for her to read physically. Like, so she has been reading a lot on KU. So I give her one checkout spot and it's usually a book that I've already read. So this time around um she is currently reading watch your mouth by candy steiner which i have read um this is the second book in the like her new hockey series um uh, i don't know what it's called but it's the second book and this is a teammate's little sister uh road trip romance grace and jackson and it is adorable and a, there's like an eight year age shop i loved it had a great time with it stay tuned for my mid-month wrap-up to find out my full thoughts so my mom gets one spot and that is currently the book she has checked out so i might tell you what books that i've checked out for my mom as we go but like i'll do like a like level for her but for now that's the one she has checked out i think her next book that she wants is ivan by sophie lark so we'll see i have read that one also <laughs> but then the book that i am currently reading is Tame the Heart by Ava Erickson. This is a cowboy small town uh, romance set in Montana. It's fantastic so far. I'm like 40-ish percent of the way in and I'm having a great time with it. It's really fast. Uh, I believe it's a spinoff of her like Nashville series. But so, and I did not read that one, but I don't feel like I'm missing anything. But I think like his, the Charlie, the, her the hero, his little sister has a book in that series. So, and maybe even their little brother. I don't know. But Yes, it's cute so far. I'm having a good time with it. The heroine is named Ruby and the hero is Charlie and it's adorable. She's helping out with like his social media. And yeah, I'm having a great time. Then the oldest book on my KU, which might have even, even been on my last KU check-in, is The Last Kiss by Anna Bloom. I don't think it's on KU anymore, so that's why I have not removed it. I kind of went through recently and just was like, I'm tired. I don't want to read any of these. None of these sound good. So I deleted everything, but I kept that one because I don't think it's on KU anymore and as long as I keep it on my Kindle Unlimited, it'll stay there. But once I delete it and if it's like pulled off, I won't be able to read it. So I kept it for that reason. So yes. <laughs> then, and that's like the heroine, the hero and the heroine have like a one night stand because the hero, the heroine gets some news that she's like terminally ill, but it is a romance. So there is an ETA ID in the back. So yeah. Uh, I don't know much more other than that. <laughs> then I have Our Thing by Nikki Harris. This is an Australian mafia book. I've never read the mafia in Australia, so I think it'd be fun. Then I have Wild Pitch by Kat Geraldo. This is a baseball romance. I love baseball romances. They're probably my favorite of all of the sports romances because baseball is my favorite sport. So, yes. And I believe that she also is on the baseball team. Like, they're both on the baseball team, which is very interesting. So, I don't know if it's, like, club baseball or what, but I'm excited for it either way. Then I have Almost Him by SM Shade. I heard that I was like scrolling through Kindle. It was like books you might like. And it was like an angsty like duet that spans like years, which is like one of my favorite things. I love angsty books that span like years of people's lives. Love it. Then I have Redeemed by Lauren Asher. This is the fourth book in her um, Formula One series, the Dirty Air series. And I need to read this. I have read every book this year. So it'd be great to read the book this year. So it'd be great to get this one done. That way I will have read them all. It's a series I can call completed. But yeah, uh, it's Santi's book. I know that. And something happens to him and he's in a wheelchair. So, yes. Then I have The Burns We Carry by Marae Good. She is an author that I follow on Instagram. And I was like, yeah, why not try her book out? And I believe that the heroine is pregnant. 
And like, I don't know, I, I don't know if the father is the hero or what, so. I know the heroine's pregnant. And I think it's like a small town, enemy still lovers vibes. Then I have Blood Mercy by Villa Roth. This is a fan row with uh, vampires. And I've heard nothing but good things. So I need to read it. It's on my November TBR. Hopefully I get to it. <laughs> then I have Even If It Hurts by Sam Mariano. Uh, this might be for a video where I possibly read books that have the same title. Because there's another book called Even If It Hurts that sounds really good that I need to read. Uh, but this is a dark moth, not dark mafia. This is like a dark bully romance. Um, I know that Dare is compared to Carter Mahoney. And like some people say that he's worse. Some people say he's not to the level. Some people say this heroine is not anywhere near what Zoe was. So I don't know. We'll see. We will see how I feel about it. But I'm excited for it. Then I have uh, Ice Bet by S.J. Silvis. This is the second book in her Bexley U series. I enjoyed the first one. It was cute. Um, it was like fake dating. This one is Coach's Daughter. And I love a good taboo, angsty mess. And that's exactly what I feel like this is going to provide. So, yes. Then Only for the Week by Natasha Bishop. This is uh, Brave Him in Love and Words. I talked about it and really enjoyed it. And it's kind of, it's on the shorter side. So it's like 250 pages, which is good. And this is a, I believe it's like the heroine's sister is marrying her ex, but like she doesn't care. Like they were not in that close, like their relationship was not like anything spectacular or anything. So she's not like that type of vibes, but I think she has like a week long bet thing relationship with the best man, which will probably end up leading to more. So yes. Then I have One Night, One Bite by Jerry Anderson. This is like a black love vampire novella it just sounds fantastic so it's there i will probably read it soon it's only like 80 pages so i could read it in one night but it is on there then i have hearts a rescue by meredith hart i was just scrolling through i was like i've been in a fan row mood and this was like it like was like the top fan row on my kindle store so i was like you know what why not it's enemies to lovers so what else is there that i need to know it sounds good. Then I have Night Shift by Annie Crown. This is like a new adult college. Uh, I think he plays basketball. She is like works at the library, the school library. And yeah, it sounds good. It sounds cute. It sounds fun. Then I have Nero by S.J. Tilly. This is a mafia romance where I'm pretty sure the heroine's curvy. There, it's like all different mafias, I believe. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But I know that the her heroes are super possessive of their women. And I love that. Love that. So, yes. Then I have Charming Your Dad by Sarah Blue. This is like a paranormal romance with a witch and her ex's dad. Which I love a good ex's dad. Like, give me some age gaps. Yes. Then I got some Christmas romances on my KU because why not? I've been feeling the Christmas vibes. So, I have Christmas Cupid by Ilsa Madden Mills. This is a new release uh, novella. Enemies to Lovers. It's cute looks fun Christmas Cupid so I'm excited because Cupid Valentine's Day how is there gonna be a crossover then I have Scrooge ish by LB Dunbar this is second chance and the heroine does not like Christmas I'm wondering if it's like grumpy sunshine where the hero is a grump is a sunshine and the hero is a grump could also be grump grump I do love a good grump grump it looks like on the cover he might be a firefighter I don't know we'll see then the last book that I have is A Little Magic by Lindsay Lan Lanza. It is set on, it says it's set on like eight or nine Christmas Eve nights and eight nights of Hanukkah. So I don't know. I'm excited. I do love a good Christmas romance. Um, if you know what Christmas is, I mean, everyone should know now, but I've loved Christmas since Seth Cohen invented the word in probably didn't but you know it's fine <laughs> but yes those are the books that I have checked out from KU right now so what has been your favorite KU romance that you read in the last week if you read any in the last week or what is your favorite KU romance that you have or your favorite KU book it doesn't have to be a romance I sometimes will have like a, a fantasy or occasionally like a thriller sometimes I do a nonfiction, but for now, this is what I have. I try, generally try to read nonfiction on audio 
from the library because nonfiction is not something I'm going to reread. So, yeah. That is all I have for now. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a baseball emoji for the baseball romance that I have on there because that's the first thing that popped in my head. Or you can leave me a football for my fancy family fall football sign that I got going on behind me. Um, I need to make a sign for this spot. That was just one that I had hanging somewhere else. And I needed something there because I don't like the blank. But I will make, I, I need to make a sign. I'll probably be in my next videos. Maybe. Probably not though. Who knows? I'm gonna make one for Christmas and just wait till after Thanksgiving to put it up. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I feel like all my videos recently have just been me rambling about random crap. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. It really helps me out. And I will talk to you all in the next one. Bye.